So in this little table, you've been asked to calculate net profit and retain profit. So just to explain what these two things are, gross profit to begin with is where you take away the cost of sales from your revenue. So let's look at the previous one here. So you might have done this activity just previously where you worked out your turnover being the price per item times the quantity sold, right? And then what we had to do with that turnover was take away the cost of sales. So it cost us £20 in order to be able to make that £45. Therefore, we were left with £25. Okay, that's your gross profit. So what happens now is that gross profit is taken and we look at the rest of the business. So that was just literally to buy the products. You get the gross profit by taking away the cost of the product to you from how much money you're, you're making on the sale. Net profit then is where we look at the expenditure of the business in general and take that expenditure from the gross profit we've made. So if you run a sweet shop, your sweets cost you, I don't know, £100, you made £600 and you were left with your gross profit of £500, then it, it cost you £100 that week to run the shop. Bills, electricity, um, washing your aprons, I don't know, whatever it is you do when you run a sweet shop. So we need to be left with then the, we need to take that £100 expenditure from the, the gross profit what we've taken on selling the stuff and we're left with a net profit of 400 pounds so we're taking that 100 basically from the the gross now also if you're running a business you want to take your own cut of it so what we do then is we pay ourselves 200 pounds which means that 200 pound comes directly out of the net meaning the retained profit that's kept within the business so more stock and things like that can be bought is 200 pounds okay so let's look again Gross profit made on the sale of something. Um, we, we've got expenses still in the business. We've spent money to run the business, not just in terms of buying stock, but you know all the other things like bills, etc. And we are left with a net profit now of a thousand because we had to spend a thousand still on top of whatever other costs we had. All right, so we've got a thousand left. The business owner wants to pay themselves five hundred pounds. So the retained profit, what's kept within the business then, in order to buy new stock and pay bills in the future, etc., like company money basically, is £500 because the owner has paid themselves £500. And uh, obviously the owner needs to make a living. It's not being cynical looking at it like that. They've got to take their own sort of wages out of, out of the money that their small business is running. Okay, so gross profit, 4500 The expenditure's 600 So we're looking at 3900 left over. for the net profit and I'm now paying myself three grand so we're left with 900 net profit imagine that's my uh, I, I'm a joiner or a carpenter and I'm, I'm fitting um, part of a house out and it's it's cost me I don't know eight grand it's cost me about a thousand pound in materials I've, I've left with four thousand five hundred profit I've had to spend money on petrol and things like that so I have to take that out of what I'm left with the net profit is that I want to pay myself £3,000 for the month, which is a pretty tidy wage for somebody. Um, but I want to keep a bit of money back in my business, so I leave £900 as kind of company money that I can spend on stock and things like that. So those are basically my wages. All right, um, gross profit again, 23000 but the expenditure was 10000 so we are left with 13000 And the amount we've had to pay the owner of the business was 5000 so we are left with a princely sum of eight thousand pounds and that's what's happened so that that money's staying in the company account that money's going to the owner of the business that's their wage they pay themselves this is the money that's left over once we've taken out bills and things like that from the money we've actually made off the product so that's it in a nutshell that's the money that we've we've made on top of selling the product that's what we've had to pay in terms of bills and petrol money and things like that. That's what's left over once we've taken those bills out of our profit, the net profit, and then paying the, the owner of business. We're left with retained profit, which is money retained by the business kept in the business.